welcome to MRO Middle East and Aircraft Interiors Middle East 2022 and our coverage brought to you by Duramco. After a reduced show last year, the annual event is back with new networking opportunities and increased show floor and with maintenance high on the agenda as aircraft around the region return to service. It was a productive first day with a number of deals signed and partnerships forged on the stands at the show. Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum, the chairman and CEO of Emirates Airline and Group, Fly in Dubai, as well as the airports company and the Civil Aviation Authority, welcomed visitors from across the region. The UAE figured well, with the Mohammed bin Rashid Aerospace Hub continuing to act as a platform for the development of MRO support in the region, announcing partnerships that will see interiors refurbishment and paint facilities developed in Dubai South very soon. A highlight of the day was the leaders panel in the Goth Live Theatre, which saw industry heavyweights from across the MRO spectrum agreeing on the need for cooperation and collaboration for the benefit of both customers and shareholders, as they look for ways to complete each other, not compete with each other. The post-pandemic era has brought new priorities and a need to look at the bigger picture. Saudi Aerospace Engineering Industries, SAI, is at the show updating the industry on its new MRO village and jet propulsion centre, taking up nearly a million square metres of land at the King Abdulaziz Airport in Jeddah. And Sai put words into action with a deal signed with Liebherr Aerospace to become the regional hub for the German company's heat exchanger and subcomponents for the A320 fleet family, and will establish a new engineering shop at the MRO village when the first phase becomes operational next year. To come in and say, I'm going to have a competitive advantage to win customer A or customer B, we insinuate indirectly that we're isolating the rest of the industry in the immediate region. We're going into a competition. What I was hoping to propose today, and I was really, really happy that it was well received by my colleagues at the panel, that we need to collaborate, not compete when it comes to quality, safety, but also precious resources. We're all coming after COVID. Everyone is exhausted. The whole global economic system is exhausted. Aviation is exhausted. We want to get back to reliability. We want to get people back up in the air. We want to get airlines flying. Digital transformation has been pushed to the back burner as companies reprioritize during the pandemic. But the Leaders Forum agreed that now is the time to restart the process. Data mining and digital transformation have the potential to revolutionize preventative maintenance but only if companies can be confident of the neutrality, confidentiality and accurate analysis by those collecting the information. We see uh, the digital transformation and the whole concept of the digital airline is something we've been looking at for a, a long time now. I actually think that as airlines are recovering now from, um, you know, through the pandemic, uh, the digital products are actually even more important. Because if you think about it now, there's nothing more important than understanding uh, your own efficiency. Uh, aircraft health management's got some great proven statistics around uh, really being around 90% successful at uh, predicting when a part's going to fail. Um, and also, uh, in many cases, I think we, we looked at 95% of the cases on certain components. That equates to more than a billion dollars of savings for Boeing customers. While well, hopefully the worst impact of the COVID pandemic is now behind us, cleanliness and hygiene remain a high priority for airlines and the whole of the aviation industry. Unfortunately, one that comes into conflict often with a second theme, sustainability. Local Saudi startup Wirekit may have the answer with an environmentally friendly answer to bacterial control. We spoke to Maurizio Zavaleta, CCO and founder, about the product. It was uh, back in 2018 in King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, uh, or KAUST in Saudi Arabia, we developed a product that was more focused on the cloth uh, part, you know, to eliminate smells and stains for the traveling sector. But then, with the lockdown and everything that happened with COVID, we decided to pivot if we wanted to survive. So our scientists, the researchers, the researchers behind the formula, uh, managed to prove that we eliminated COVID in just 30 seconds, up to a level of 99.999%, which is one of the fastest disinfectants that exist currently in the world. Uh, which has allowed us to enter into the aviation sector also because we have a high material compatibility standard when it comes to aircraft interior and at the same time we make sure to be biodegradable, to be sustainable, uh, to be safe for the skin, to be safe for the people that are using it uh, and well basically we've created a whole product that allows us to clean and disinfect uh, doing both at the same time. And that's all we have time for from a very busy and bullish first day at the MRO Middle East and Aircraft Interiors Middle East show. Our thanks to Duramco for their support.
and we look forward to bringing you more MRO news tomorrow, as well as an insight into some of the latest trends in aircraft interiors and seating. Until then, goodbye.